Already right, it is already forecasted by the different scientists, especially uh, IPCC report, uh, different modeling. It is said that in whole over the world, it will be around 300 million climate migrants. It means each of the 30 people, there will be one climate migrant in whole over the world. And as you said that Bangladesh is the worst impacted country, there will be one out of each seven people will be the climate migrants. It means there will be 30 million people will be climate migrants by 2050. Already, if you look at the coastal areas, there are several islands is disappearing and especially the southwest part of our country, it is uh, already impacted. Uh, uh, Sachs, for example, in Dhaka, per square kilometer, there is 2,000, 28,000 people are living. Every day, 2,000 people entering in the city. And in an average in Bangladesh, uh, per square kilometer people density, it is more than 1,100. But in comparison to Bangladesh, if you consider the India and Pakistan and Nepal, there is only per square kilometer 300, only 200 to 300. So why it is Bangladesh, why it is so much in Bangladesh? Because people has to leave the coastal areas. They cannot leave and stay in the climate hot stop, hot, hot, hot spots. So these things that we are raising in the global level, because these poor people has is not at all responsible for the climate carbon emission, climate catastrophes. Who did it? It is the developed countries due to their carbon emission or all the climate catastrophes has happened. So we are telling in the global level, you have to consider the life of these climate migrants in view of the human rights framework. Because, because they have a right to move, they have no choice but to move. Is exactly, that, uh, yeah. exactly. They have the right to move, they have the right to, li right to live. So these are the responsible countries have to take the responsibility of the climate migrants. This is one dimension. Another one dimension is that there are a lot of discourse regarding the adaptation planning. There is a lot of discourse which has happened from the Cancun agreement, the loss and damage. So the country has the responsibility to prepare first whether this climate migrant can be facilitated, they will be staying in their own place. But this adaptation planning, loss and damage, need the money financing from the developed countries. So these are the issues we have been, we have been promoting this climate migrant since Bali. And we got some achievement in Cancun agreement. In Cancun agreement, in para 14 on F, it is agreed and, and agreed that climate migrant issue is a basic issue and this has to be uh, discussed, this has to be planned for the future. So that's why this year, what we did, we taken 16 human story from Bangladesh and with 16 slogan and we are distributing this campaign postcard to each and everybody in here telling the people, look, there are the climate migrants. We have to take this issue from the human rights framework. We have to prepare new policies and new logic that how to live together. Look, there is no planet B that you can shift all the people to the planet B. This is the one planet where we have to live. So we have to rethink the UN Convention, Refugee Convention of 1952. We have to rethink the, our immigration law and we have to rethink our labor, labor export law because we have to live together and these people have the right to life. I think, could you perhaps show me two of these uh, examples, two of the 16 postcards and, and read the slogan? Look, uh, this is a case from a Bangladesh. It's a drought area. And we have written that the, for this climate migrant issues, this should not be considered as a threat. This should be considered as a, as a responsibility of the developed country. And, and this, uh, look, this is another one card. Uh, this is also one case story from Bangladesh. We are telling that if capital and goods is allowed to cross the border, then why the natural labor has not the right to cross the border? This is also one slogan uh, we want to promote. And also we are, we are, we are, we are, we are also promoting some, some slogans that, look, we have to redefine our development efforts who are the climate migrants? 
these are the people who are basically depend on the use of na natural resources. So we have to take care of our wa water resources. We have to take care of our fish resources. So these people will not be displaced. And, and what will you do with these? Uh, where will these be distributed? These postcards. Yeah, yeah, uh, to the simple people, uh, to the policy planners, to the campaigners. Look, we. This is a special. Po uh, this is from a 1998 cyclone from Bangladesh. We said that these cities. We have to prepare these cities in such a way that the these cities will accommodate the climate migrants. So it is not justified, it is not within the human justice that we only put the climate migrants in slums. So these are the things we are promoting. And this is one poster we are telling that if there should be a priority within the adaptation fund that climate migrant issue has to be considered. So that priority wise investment should go to the climate migrants. So, and. And at the last, we are promoting that there must be a UN protocol in the UN system that in future, this climate migrant should be considered as a universal natural person. What does it mean by universal natural person? Th these people are very simple people. They want to live. They don't know about all this scientific gamok and other things. But only one thing they want, know, they, they want to see that they have the right to live in this earth.